Um, I got a little something I want to cover with you guys that's very, very important, and I thought that you guys should know this. Whenever you see those guys out there, because a lot of you guys are like me, uh, I can't afford an $80,000, $90,000 bass boat. I can't afford one of those screens that are, you know, 32 inches with the touch screen and do all that. But one thing you cannot deny me of is that I catch fish. I catch crappie, okay? And that's all that I chase is crappie. And I don't go out and spend $80,000 for a bass boat. I don't go out and spend $5,000 for a screen up front and one in the back. I would love to have those things. I'm just like everybody else out there. But right now, it's just not affordable, and I've just faced reality when it comes to that. So what I do, guys... I make lemonade out of the lemons that are given to me, okay? And I want to show you guys something here. I'm going to show you the difference right now between, I'm going to hold them down so you guys can see both of them. I'm going to show you the difference between DSI and Sonar, okay? I got both of them here. Both of them are made by Hummingbird, okay? And in case you guys didn't know, the rule of thumb is between Lowrance and Hummingbird, they say that the Lowrance, and I'm just quoting a quote that I've heard repeatedly over the years, Lowrance is generally more technical uh, for the professionals, and Hummingbird is a little bit more user-friendly, okay? So that's what I like to do. I'm, I'm that simple guy. I don't really like going into all the technical stuff. Show me the fish on the screen, let me see them, let me catch them, and I'm gone. That's all I do, okay? Plus, i got to stop by the store and get some hot sauce. You know I have to do that. You can see the tree back behind me. Um, I'm getting ready to show you the difference between DSI which is down scan imaging and old school sonar okay this one right here is about 255 260 this one right here dollars at your big box store this one right here guys i've, I've had this thing right now for two years and I, I bought it used off of one of the auction sites okay i bid it on it they shipped it to me and i've been satisfied with it ever since then i only paid 150 dollars for this okay and let me tell you what the electronics does for the for the average fisherman it makes the average fisherman better okay it allows you to get dialed into those fish know where they are versus searching running around 200 acres not to mention if you got a 25,000 acre reservoir you're dialed into them you know where they are you pull up you catch fish and you're gone that's how I do that's how I film my segments you can say anything that you want to say about me guys but I catch fish that's the bottom line at the end of the day baby I never get ahead of my skis when it comes to that. I always pull fish in the boat. Now, you can see the tree behind me. I'm getting ready to pull up on that tree. Sit back, relax, guys. Um, just, you know, sit over my left shoulder and take a look at what I'm getting ready to show you. And one other bone that I have to pick that is very important, I had about six, about a half a dozen to a dozen ladies that were dragging me all over the internet, okay? And I, I have got to clarify this. And they were like, you're doing a lot of stuff for the guys and you don't do a lot for the ladies and i don't want the ladies to be upset with me the fellas i can kind of deal with that but when it comes to the ladies i can't have that so i'm, I'm trying as fast as i can to produce ladies stuff you know we have the bracelets in there we have the neck, neck pieces um but i do have a lot of things that are for the guys which is one of our t-shirts which is right here it's fish o'clock somewhere this is one of my favorite. This is the maroon color. But I want to, I, this is just for the ladies. And we're only doing this for a temporary time, for a limited time. So if you want one, ladies, or guys, if you want your girlfriend or your daughter or your wife to have one, you need to go ahead and get them right now. Matter of fact, let me pull them up here. Let me show them to you. Uh, I have the tank tops that we're doing just for a limited time. Let me pull them up. Let me show them to you. This is the purple or plum you can see it real girls fish okay crappy chicks that's the purple they're out of that moisture wick technology which keeps you cool that's the purple i also have it in a cherry red which is right here very pretty red which i think is one of my favorites okay um so this is strictly for the ladies. Guys, I had to do something for them because they were dragging me all over the internet and more than more than 10 said it to me. So I had to I had to get something for the ladies, okay? There ain't no guy stuff in here. This is just for the ladies. And here's the fuchsia, okay? Real crappy chicks, real girls fish. So I have these in the store at camscrappyhole.com. Matter of fact, let me get back in the shade real quick, guys. I don't float it out there in that sun, and I don't want to be in that sun. Boy, that sun is a is a beast right now. Let me get out of that sun. 
let me show you the fuchsia one more time so you guys can see that okay and they're in, they're on our website camscrappyhole.com take a look at it and like i said if you see it see one that you like the size if you don't see the size that you want just contact me via facebook contact me you know via direct message on youtube and i'll get the size that you want but i got those just for the ladies for a limited time okay so if you see it and you like it you need to go ahead and pick it up now hold tight for a little bit i'm going to pull over here boy it's hot out here too i'm going to pull over here to the tree the old tree and i'm going to show you exactly what it looks like to see the fish on dsi and to see the fish on old school sonar okay i'm getting ready to slowly pull up to the end of this tree where I know the branches are okay I'm gonna give you a, 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 a shot of both of them right now so you guys can see this is the DSI I'll let you guys see it real close real close okay that's what that image looks like and I'm not going to show you the fish I'm gonna show you the fish a little bit later and this is the old school sonar which you guys have seen me use quite often okay both of them produced by hummingbird okay and you can see the image okay so let me get ready to show you what it looks like with the fish okay and again I choose these because I don't I do not they're side by side I do not want to drill holes in my boat okay so that's why these work for me and by the way the um, the DSI belongs to a friend of mine um, uh, Ben Ben I appreciate you let me use your your uh, your DSI so I can show these guys exactly what what it looks like okay I'm pulling up now on the spot, guys, and I'm getting ready to show you. Okay, here's some fish on the old school sonar. You see them down there? You see them? Okay. You can see them on the old school sonar. We're at eight feet, and you can see the fish down there. Now, over here on the DSI, you can see the image there. Okay, it's a little bit harder to read, but you can see it. Okay. It's a little bit more of an accurate read than the than the sonar. It depicts everything real, real small and real little. You can see the fish. Meanwhile, back over here on the old school sonar. Now, I prefer sonar because it makes things very easy for me. Okay, I can see the blue dot. That means that's, that's fish because the the um, sonar picks up the air bladder in the fish, and sometimes they're not. And that red hard bottom is the bottom which means it's a hard bottom okay you can see right there on the DSI did the down down uh, down scan imaging okay you can see it on there those are fish you, the, the light glow is the bottom and up above that are fish okay I'm gonna see if I can get into a better school over here to the right let's see if they're over here to the left a little bit better I'm going to put the sonar so i want you guys to make sure you don't be intimidated by what you see okay take a look out there make sure you don't get in a goat trail of just doing the same old thing expand a little bit technology is your friend you can see right there look down there real good you can see the fish up above the bottom okay that's dsi so when you go out and look you have to decide what's best for you those are fish you can see the limb and the fish are right above it that that light glow and over here on the sonar, it just shows the image of a fish and shows you above how big the fish is by the, the size of the bladder, okay? Now, over, I happen to know over this way, there's a, a log that's in the water and all those fish that you saw on, on, the, on, the, on the image were crappie, okay? You guys have seen me fish that thing, that, that, that tree before, okay? Let me back it up a little bit. Let's see here. Okay. I'm going to go right down this bend right here. And I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay. You see how close we are to the bank. It's just I spend so much time out here scouting that I know where the trees are. Okay. I'm going to show it to you on the sonar first. Okay, you can see it on the sonar. You can see the fish barely coming in, and you can see right here on the down scan imaging too. You can see it right off the bottom. You can see it, has, it shows you the tree. Okay, I just happen, what, happen to know what works best for me. 
Okay, let me show you the sonar again. You can see the fish. Okay, and on the DSI, you can see the image of the tree itself. Because it's hard, it's solid. Okay, that's the tree. Okay, so you have to kind of decide, just because something costs more, that necessarily means it's better for you, okay? So, I wanted to show you guys that real quick. So, um, we're getting ready to go over here and we're going to be fishing some of the, um, uh, the market buoys that I put out. So, sit back, relax, give me a second, let's get back over there on Crappy Point. We were kind of waiting for the sun to go down a little bit. And... Um, Let's get back over there and see if we can pull some, some crappy out. We're going to be fishing with minnows again today. So you have to give the fish what they want. It's not a matter of what I want to fish with. It's what the fish want, okay? So hold tight, and I'm going to be right back with you guys. Today I'm just running three poles. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Time we pull up, 60 seconds. And I'm running those cam action hooks, okay? You know in my last segment, you saw what those cam action hooks did, right? You saw where they hooked those fish at every single time. It never fails. Look at that, roof of the mouth. Never fails. Remember what I told you about electronics. I caught that one right at the marker buoy, okay? Electronics makes a good angler even better. Let's take this rascal off. You can see those cam action hooks. You see that? Let's back up a little bit because we're right, on this high, right up on this marker. Let's back up a touch. Right, I'm sitting right on top of the market. Today we're catching and releasing, so we're gonna let this little rascal go. Crap, you always bite when you least expect it. Look at that. Guys, let me tell you something. Look at the hook set. If you don't do anything else, you got to get with me and get you some of these cam action hooks. We have them in a blood red, and I also have the gold that are, believe it or not, they are coated in 22 karat gold. Okay, that's what I just hooked this rascal right here with. Matter of fact, let me show it to you. Look at that hook set. All the way in the back of the throat, top of the throat. Matter of fact, I'm glad I bought my pliers too. Ah, fantastic. Look at that rascal. That's a good eating size, perfect eating size. Okay? Let me show you this hook again. These are my gold-plated hooks. Let me see if I can get some over here. There we go. These produce these. Okay? Let me let him go. Beautiful little rascal. Pretty. Let him go. All right, let's get this one right here baited back up again. And let's get back back in there. That's a nice little spot right there. Let me see if I can back up a little bit. I don't even have that mark. Six foot flat. Let's see if I can back up just a little bit. There we go, right there. Let's see if we can have a little bit of luck. Let's see if we can slow walk it back. Slow walk it back just a little bit. Slow walk it back just a little bit. Look at that. We slow walked that bad boy back, didn't we? Look at that. We saw him on that monitor and we just slow walked it back. Guys, you remember I mentioned to you about electronics make a good angler better? I just slow walked that rascal back and look at that. Right in the roof of the mouth. Let me see if he'll let me grab him. There we go. Right in the roof of the mouth. Look at that. Hmm, he wasn't going nowhere either. That's because of those electronics. And think about this. Think about this. If I didn't have those markers down and this was your first time coming to this lake, you would ride right over all my laydowns, all my high-rise condos, all my flat condos. You'd ride right over them. You wouldn't even know they're there. Let me show you this little rascal. We're going to put him back in the water, though. We're catching and releasing today. There we go. There we go, guys. 
Look at that hook set. I'm gonna hold it up. I'm gonna let you guys see that hook set. That's those cam. Matter of fact, that's those cam action hooks. Let me do this. Let me grab a hold of this rascal here. You can see it's in the roof of the mouth. Let me show it to you. Okay. We're gonna let him go. And I think from this, guys, y'all can get the picture. Um, let me let him go. This, let me show you the cam action hooks so you guys can see those. Okay, I'm using the gold, the gold 22, 22 karat gold plated. Okay, all you got to do is go to camscrappyhold.com. We got free shipping. I forgot, I still got some more poles in there. So I got to watch those. Listen, let me say this before I get ready to pull those poles up. It's getting darker now. And um, let me pull this up a little bit so I can talk to you guys. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. Let me say this, whenever you get a chance and you decide that you want to take a look at some electronics, okay, this one right here is the DSI, which stands for um, Downscan Imaging, and the old school, which is the one that I prefer, let me get it here, let me drain the water off real quick. which is the one that has been that has been with me the longest this is the old school sonar so when you get a chance try both of these and see which one that you like they're, they're not expensive uh, they're made by hummingbird you can get them at the big box store um, this one right here is called the 140c which is the one that i have here and this one right here is called the fishing buddy max okay and uh, when you get a chance try both of these i hope i helped somebody out today by letting them know don't be intimidated by electronics they're here to be your friend to help you guys catch more fish until then guys i'm cam this is the crappy hole till next time keep those hooks wet and we'll see you on the next turn all right